NBA Central. It's your boy Steve O Spicks, and it's the odd couple. We back, back <laughs> with my boy Big Kev. And you know it, the summer league been popping. We've been seeing a lot of crazy performance, and that's what we're here for today. We came to talk to you about some of our favorite performers, and we about to get it straight to you, but y'all gotta listen to that music first. Welcome to the number one place for your daily basketball news and analysis. NBA Central. Man, man, man. The summer league been crazy. It been some um, hype players that ain't lived up to the performance. And there been some players coming out the woodwork that we don't even know their name and they been hooping. But, hey, we been watching for sure. So, first off, I want to hear who was one of your favorites coming – well, not favorite, but who were you most impressed with? so far in the summer league so far kid. well before they went down with injuries uh move zoe um i'm in yeah. thompson and scoot henderson they started off real well man like yeah. i was really impressed with those two young fellas but i gotta go with kassan what is it kassan wallace kassan wallace yeah that man is a beast over there in oklahoma city he had oh, six yeah. threes the other day catching shoots a half court shot he out there hooping with chet home green man i like what i'm seeing from from homie out there man yeah that's nice. Uh, yeah, he's definitely somebody I've been watching. Um, bro, OKC is becoming one of those teams that definitely know whoever they scouting dude is, he need a raise because he's been finding some people for sure. I mean, they got like a thousand picks. And they still <laughs> got a thousand picks. I, I, they just released something yesterday. I forgot what it said, but they said like for the next – decade they got like so many picks it don't make no sense so it's like you it's the job does itself after a while if you got lottery pick after lottery pick i mean yeah but you know a lot of people can't pick i i ain't hating on brody i'm just saying like they they have enough picks to even make mistakes you get what i'm saying even though they're not really they're not even really making mistakes but they have the opportunities to to do these types of things they're doing better than philly did when they were trusting the oh for sure yeah, that process wasn't even a process for real. But, uh, but yeah, um, I think my first one is going to be a little bit of a shocker to people. Uh, I've been watching. He had a lot of early games, so he hasn't really been in the prime spots. Um, Jalen Hood Shafino, okay. the uh, guard from the Lakers. Um, when he got drafted, like, I was pretty shocked because I didn't expect them to get a guard. But now that I, I'm starting to um, understand more of his skill set, I understand now. He's a six six guard, combo guard. Um, he could score pretty much all three levels. Um, and he's surprisingly a pretty good playmaker. He got his night vision, nice vision, has a nice flow in the main, but dude is a legit shot creator. He can create his own shot and um knows how to use his frame. So I've been really impressed by Jalen Hood for Shafino for sure. Oh yeah, that sounds good. You're right. I haven't seen him. They've been playing early. And this weekend, you know, I got daddy duties. I got to take my daughter to piano practice in a little bit right now. Hey, that man care of a real dad. He was just at baseball practice yesterday. Now he got to go to piano practice. That's what you're supposed to be doing as a father. Yes, sir. But, hey, my next player is Anthony Black. I mean, I know he's one of the top picks. But at six seven, man, playing point guard. Is he that big? Golly. Yeah. And he's the point guard, bro. Jeez. You know, but he was, he was showing effortless uh, ability out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was definitely hitting the mid-range. He was hitting the threes. He was passing the ball. And he's going to be a problem in the NBA. We know that Orlando has a bunch of guards, but I can see why they didn't pass up on Anthony Blackman because he's doing his thing. And he plays defense as well. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. So, he, yeah, he's definitely uh somebody. I He was a little bit of a shocker, not because of his talent, but the fact that he was a point guard. I, I didn't know they was going to go there again, but I definitely understand. And they could move. They could be real versatile. That's one thing about Orlando. They're going to be versatile for sure. Uh, my next player, is it shouldn't be uh, jo- uh, a surprising. Um, if you've been paying attention to this dude, uh, we've been watching him since high school, and that is Keontae George. Okay. Keontae Joy has been hooping. Um, he's just a scorer at will. He's just one of those dudes that knows how to put the ball in the rim. He's gonna get it. He can drive. He can shoot. He can create his own shot. Like dude, one like the one the first thing comparisons I made to him is like, bro, he got a little Bradley Bill now, because you know he's a under he's an undersized guard, but when he getting in rhythm, he lacing mugs, and he just had I believe a thirty three point game last night. Thirty three ten and two. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he's a problem. He's definitely a problem, and that's definitely a great pickup 
for the um uh for the Jazz. And even though in and I thought because they picked him, it's a possibility that they wasn't going to keep Jordan um, Jordan Clarkson, and they kept both. So they got a lot of guards around them that could make a lot of uh, points. Um, and yeah, the, uh, Utah's in a nice position. I like I like that pickup for them, but he's definitely been hooping. Over on the Chicago Bulls side, man, Freedom Liberty been doing his bro, thing, bro. I'm I'm just been waiting for him to get a contract off. I keep saying Freedom Liberty, but it's Freeman Liberty. I'm gonna Freeman make Liberty. I'm okay. gonna keep making that mistake. But <laughs> Javon Freeman Liberty is out there playing the way that the Bulls expect Dalen Terry to be playing. He had 24 points last night. I think about six boards, four assists. He had a nasty dunk in, in, in um in transition that Dalen Terry hit him. Uh, you know, running the floor really well, looking poised out there. Whatever he did in between uh, last summer's summer league and this summer league, he's definitely taking a step forward, man. So I'm glad to see it, especially for the Chicago Bulls, because <sighs> although they they need size, maybe he can crack the summer league roster, not the, not the summer league, the G League roster, and be a two two way contract type uh, candidate if they still got one of those available. I believe they still got one more available, right? Because they just got rid of Samanovich. Yep. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Um, it, it's a lot to do. I also like the little guard we got from Brazil down there. Um, he's gonna be hard to keep on this team. I ho- I hope we keep him as a Windy City Bull for a long time because I can, we can use a, a point guard and he, that can, and a point guard that can shoot. Um, just as a background piece. So um, I hope we we're able to keep him as a Windy City Bull. I've been really impressed by him, and um, just to throw some people out. Um. Just because I know some people are going to kill us if we don't. I'm going to throw out Imani Bates. He definitely been scoring. Uh, he definitely been killing. Every um, time I see him, I'm like, damn, I can't be- believe-, believe the Bulls passed <laughs> up on here for Julian Phillips. Not to say that Julian Phillips might not turn out to be something. Hey, sign that damn contract, bro. He signed, he signed it. That's why he played yesterday, right? He played yesterday. Did he? Yeah, he played. He, he, hit, okay. he, hit, he hit a shot late in the fourth quarter to uh, to kind of tie the game, I believe. That's what happened. Uh, okay, uh, I didn't I didn't watch. I need to watch everything. I was he, I was out. He played 24 minutes, uh, but he only took two shots. He hit one. It was close to a three, but uh, they, they turned. How was that defense point. looking? The defense is looking good. That's what he's gonna be here for. Yeah. But you know, you looking for a, if you're looking for a dy- dynamicism, if that's a word, my guy <laughs> you just Imani, created it. <laughs> Imani Bates is that though? Like he was available, and for him to fall all the way to Cleveland, um, he's gonna have an opportunity to develop. And, 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 and it's, it's, he he looks good so far, man. That dude is effortless when it comes to scoring. Yeah, yeah. And speaking of falling, I also got to give a shout out to Cam Whitmore falling all the way to the Houston Rockets again. And Houston just boosting up date, bro. Dude can be a legit player for a long time in this league. Athletics, he got it. He got the. He's not. He go out to go get that bucket. He going to get that bucket. Um, he's a monster on transition. So he he plays the passing lanes very aggressively, maybe sometimes too aggressive sometimes. But um, had a double-double in his summer league. Debuted, I believe, 14 points. Can't ask for much from him. Uh, and that's pretty good. So um, it is what it is. He been killing. I got one more too, man. Somebody that I'm looking forward to seeing develop and become a, a, a like a, at least a solid role player in this league, if not – a perennial star is James Wiseman. Um, it All looks right. like he's feeling better um, right now. Playing with Detroit, he's free. He doesn't have that championship pressure on him that he had from day one to the Golden State Warriors. And Correct. yesterday versus the, the Orlando Magic, uh, even though Kai Soto couldn't get on the floor, uh, yesterday versus the Orlando Magic, James Wiseman was running the floor, getting dunks, getting blocks, help side blocks. Chase down blocks. And that's what you're looking for, a rim protector and a floor, a, a person who's going to run the floor hard. And that's what Detroit has in James Wiseman right now. Let's see if it can uh, translate to the to the uh, you know to to the actual NBA games. But in the summer league, so far he's been looking good. And I'm I'm drawing a blank on his name. I'm looking him up real quick because I got to say his name. I can't believe I forgot. It's the teammate of Wimby, uh, Chipini. Um, what's his first name? Uh, uh, but Wimby bogus, bro. He well, I, he he got a lot of pressure on him, man. We we want to talk quickly about disappointments. Wimby Wimby's first game was definitely a disappointment. Yeah, um, especially when you're looking at players like Chet Holmgren and, and Paolo and all those guys that came in with hype in the summer league dominate. Uh, to see Wimby not dominate, he gonna get a lot of people already calling him bust. I ain't gonna call him no bust, 
but he got a lot of work to do. And, and I think this is just one thing I noticed that why I felt why he didn't look as good as for one, they was trying to get, they set up a lot of his plays on on him on the move instead of him posting up. I felt like him just posting up and him making a quick decision because he showed early in the game like. The first point he got in the game was an and one that he posted up. They just threw it up, turned around, make a quick decision. And right. I feel like that's something they should have did. And um, I, I won't say they set him up for failure, but I think he, he just got to go through these growing planes. Um, one thing, like his, uh, they, are, they going to attack him. They knew they was gonna, He knew he was going to get attacked that first game. I love the, the way he passes. I mean, I know he got dunked yes. on, but he going to get dunked on a lot. Everybody gets dunked on. Now, yeah, man. but I like the way that he, he makes really good decisions in passing the ball. So I'm not mad at him. He and, and he even said it himself. He 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 said point blank, I didn't know what I was doing. And he people, definitely a little lost. And people are gonna get on him for that. But you're talking about trend. First of all, he's transitioning from the European game to the American game. That's different. It's something different to deal with. And then he's also he just doesn't play much. Like even when he was playing for uh the G League, he he wasn't playing much. You know, so like he's gonna have to learn, and I want to see how he looks across eighty-two games. I'm not gonna be down on a young fella yeah. so quickly. Just his name, Julia Champagne, and I, this is the guy that I wanted. He been hooping. Um, I believe the game he had with Wimby debut. I think he. Uh, let me see. He finished with twenty points, um, uh, six assists, eight rebounds. I think he had a thirty-point game before that. So, dude, definitely been hooping. Um, he he played with the Spurs um last year, so. Um, it's just nice to see him develop. It, it, it's a lot of people that's in their second year. Um, that I've noticed that's really been working they, with the working on their game over the summer. So, yeah, that's all we wanted to talk about. Just throw out a couple of names that maybe y'all don't know about, but the, some of the names we want to throw out that have really been impressing us. It, it, to be honest, maybe uh, out of all summer leagues, to me, it's a lot of people I've been noticing more than I have not. I don't know if it's different from you in the past summer leagues, but this summer league, I'm just noticing a lot of people that's been hooping every day. Well, you can see the hunger out there um, as opposed to the – and the, see, in the past summer leagues, you would have a bunch of 25, 26-year-olds from overseas that had a cup of coffee in the league and so on and so forth. Right now, these rookies are actually playing, and um, God forbid they get injured. There's been a couple of injuries already. Yeah. One of the Thompson twins hurt his ankle. Uh, and then school, school hurt his shoulder. But for the most part, these rookies are out there balling. And, um, you know, unfortunately for Dale and Terry, man, he got to go out there and ball too. Because you got the kids yeah. in the car right now for the Bulls. If you want to see if you can go out there and compete and earn some uh, minutes on, on, on Big Squad. Yep. Because, hey, these dudes hungry. And you got to be just as hungry because they you fighting for your spots out here. You got to um, be but- more hungry. Yeah, and they and they definitely played a better game and last night compared to the first one. But yeah, I I need to see more five um, for, what, five for twenty one or something like that. No. Yeah, I mean I just seen more, just like mainly just going to the baskets. I seen more. That's what I seen. I won't say as a whole. I'm him going to the basket. Definitely been working with him and uh Demar. But yeah, um. You, you got to get it together. Me personally, they use them in this facilitating role a little bit um, too much. But, you know, that's a different story for a different topic. But, yeah, that's all we wanted to come for this episode. We're going to come and draw with another episode. Um, it's Sunday. We working. So, you know how we're going. So, uh, make sure y'all have y'all. Make sure y'all like the button. Like the video first. I have the notification bell. Cause I know some of y'all don't be having your notification bells, because cause you always talking about something. But yeah, uh, make sure y'all got y'all stuff together. Follow us on all the central uh, game, and we're gonna check with y'all later. Peace. This has been a presentation of the Break Break Media. 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 Media.